you have an Apple Watch Series 1 and the battery's not what it used to be, or even worse, it's popping off the LCD screen face, then stay tuned. I have a solution for you guys today. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I ran into a little bit of an issue with my Apple Watch. Basically, this happened. That's right, the battery expanded so bad because it was going bad, it pushed off the faceplate, and I was like, what the heck's going on? Now, I thought at first I was just rough with it or I pushed it somewhere, and then I did some research and I found out that Apple had an extended warranty on this watch. Unfortunately, mine's four years old. Theirs only counts for three. Once again, Apple, thank you. Well, not a big deal. Thankfully, it did push off the faceplate. I don't have to go through the rigorous of heating and trying to pry up this faceplate. Didn't have to do that, not at all. But I had to replace the battery. So I went on Amazon and I found a battery kit that you could replace it with. My watch is actually a Series 1 38 millimeter. I know, I know, everybody's saying, that's a girl's watch, Will. Well, I wanted a small faceplate. That's what I liked. I didn't like the giant one, so eh. So today, I'm gonna go over to the workbench. I'm gonna show you the kit that I bought. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. The link for the kit will be down below. I do not get any credit for it. I do not have any affiliate links, so you don't have to worry about that aspect of it. So let's get over to the workbench and get to work. All right, so here we are. This is the scenario the battery has pushed out, and you can see like there's a lip there. Very frustrating that that happened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the kit. If you open this up, I already took this apart, just to give you guys an idea. When you pull the face off, the ribbon cable in there you wanna be careful of, there is the tape that holds this down, and then there's force touch strip, and you can see that right here, it's sticking up a little bit. Mine still works, mine's still good. It just came up with the battery plate. There's a little sensor there don't mess with that don't take that out because that's not part of the sticker that's actually a force touch so when you push down on your watch you're able to force touch it so it's when you hard push down on it you can get other options on your watch so I'm gonna put that off to the side and I just received this kit from Amazon it's a $15 kit it's the battery and some of the sticky parts so I'm gonna show you what everything comes in and some tools All right, it did come with some instructions. Really don't have to go through too much to take the face place off because the battery did a lot of that work for us. So that's already popped off. That would be the hard thing to do. And let me just show you what's in this kit. We got the little battery. We got a pry tool, which I'm really happy about. We got some tweezers, which I can always use those. We have some guitar picks. And then it looks like two uh, sticky pads to go around the edge of the watch, some pry tools, and a screwdriver. Don't know what the screwdriver's for, but. All right, so it looks like there is a little clip holding in this screen. If you look at it from this angle, you can see the clip right there. I'm gonna try and disconnect that clip and see if that will let me get this face off. That was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but there is a tab. You can see there's a little metal tab and you push up on that. So let me, all right, so now that I have it exposed, I can show you guys a lot better. All right, so there's this lid right here. It's like a hinged lid. And if you go for this little metal tab right here, and you gotta push down on it and push this up and just hit it just right to take that off. But that's what it looks like on the inside. But you wanna put pressure on it because this will move. But it's a little hinge. That's what it looks like underneath, and that's what this was connected to, and that's what it'll be connected back to. So the watch is going to go back like this. I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff right off of the face of the watch, and I'm going to clean that with some alcohol. Let's go back to the battery. We're going to pry that battery out. I'm going to try and use their pry tool to get it out. It's on Apple batteries, and it's always a pain in the ass. So I'm going to just go like this and just pry up on this bad boy. seems like it's coming up. Use this pointier edge to try and get under there a little bit more. Alright. Battery's out. Alright, and we just pull that with our nail and that's disconnected. 
and you can see that battery is definitely bad <laughs> it's exploded we have that sensor I wonder if we need to replace the glue around this as well because it doesn't look like it's holding it doesn't say anything in the instructions these instructions are pretty crappy but I have two of these so I'm thinking that's what they're used for that's the new battery the old and the new so before we do anything else I want to get I'm gonna try and put a new rim around this a new piece of glue so I'm gonna gently peel this force sensor and this must have been on the newer Apple watches because they did not talk about it they thought it was a weather seal and this is clearly if you could see right here it is connected it's not a weather seal I got 99% isopropylene alcohol so we good to keep around especially if you're messing with electronics a q-tip right here I'm gonna dip that in some alcohol I'm just gonna go around the edges and clean it up going underneath the force touch sensor and I'm cleaning up underneath here underneath that force touch sensor there is a sticker and there is a sticker there so I'm gonna have to take that up let's get all that out of there and that'll keep it nice and clean because we're gonna need to reattach that because I noticed the one end wasn't going down so we're gonna go ahead and take all that out all right so that's definitely out and then I'll clean around that see I'm just gonna hit it with some alcohol And while we're here, we might as well clean off the sticky plate where the apple symbol is. I'll throw some alcohol in there and clean that off and get all that stickiness out of there. So I'm going to try and place this in a place that I can get around this because I really don't want to take this apart. All right, so I finagled it to go right in that spot right there. All right, and now I just got to take the backing off of this and then just place it in there. So let's... So let's take the bottom off. I'm going to go for this tab right here. All right, so now that I got that started, before I go all the way over, what I want to do is place this into the watch. Black part right in the middle. I'm going to go like that and just loop it through so we can have it in position when we tear this off so that way there's no way to mess this up really. All right, so I got it started in the corner here, and now I'm going around. Okay, so that one's done. Now we're gonna peel off the blue part. I got the force sensor put in place I did that off camera because I really wanted to get make sure that was in there and nice and down it's basically like a see-through sticker once you peel the blue off it's like a see-through sticker so it is a pain to try and get on and you'll see it when I go to put the faceplate on I'm gonna go ahead faceplate around this right now so that way we have nothing in the way and basically what we're doing is just peeling this off and it's like translucent so it's a little frustrating to make sure that you have it down you'll see it it's it'll look very filmy and you'll see it when I do it in this one so that way you get a better idea of how to put it on alright so we're gonna leave the blue up and I'm gonna place it like this right on the watch face and I start on the corner I'm trying to get used to these stupid stickers I don't like them don't like them at all but anyway it has a spot where we can peel if you push down right here there's an indent we could peel the sticker and get that started so we have something to grab onto all right so take that off I'm gonna place this right over the watch I'm gonna start with this corner because I could stick I could hold that corner the worst design Apple the worst wish they would stop gluing stuff in like you know you're gonna have to replace the battery why don't you make it so we could just snap this stuff together instead of gluing everything And I've been using the tweezers a lot to strike this stuff down a little bit more and get it in position. All right, so we got that part done. What we're going to do now is just connect this battery. So flip the battery over where the sticky part is on the other side. We, we didn't take off the sticker yet. And we're just going to try and line up this battery and push it in. All right, that looks like I got it. I think so. And it fits in there just perfect. I mean, that does fit really nice. All right, let's get the screen back on and see. 
and we'll power this up before we put everything back together. I'll push this back on. Two connectors, and there's two connectors there, and we're just going to push them on. So, sorry I can't show you exactly what I'm doing here. Alright, so I think I got it in there, and I went ahead and pushed that metal slot down because it, I need to hold it in place. So, let's go ahead and turn this on. Maybe it needs to be charged. Alright, so I am getting a screen of the battery charging. I'm going to let it charge for a little bit. Alright, yeah, it's completely dead. So I'm going to give it like 5-10 minutes to do that, and then we'll come back. Alright, so she's powered up. We're going to test her real quick. Alright, so I put in my passcode. Swiping up. That works. Swiping down. No notifications. Everything's working. Yeah, the force touch does work. Okay, so we did not ruin that. Everything works with that. So the watch is working. Okay, so now it's powered off. We're going to peel the face off a little bit. Everything's working correctly. Peel that blue film off. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I was saying that, see the, the film? I'm going to use the tweezers. So I'm going to make sure the film stays on. So just make sure the blue's coming off and the clear is staying down. Don't let it touch yet. All right, so that's completely off. Let's make sure that clear is in the corner. Fight me a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna place this top first. Push this down. Hold it in place. And we're gonna firmly push down everything. And that should be the end of it. That should be a finished product now. Let's push the edges. And that's it. Now we could power it on. Apple Watch logo. Put it back on my wrist. Alright, so it looks like everything's working good. No notifications. Swipe up. We got my Wi-Fi. Got everything else. We got that. We got this button. Everything. Let's see the force touch. Everything's working great. So yeah, that's basically how you fix your Apple Watch. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get around that force sensor. You gotta play with it a little bit, get it in there. I didn't want to remove it because it's just more edges that you can pop open and screw up things. I try to do it a little bit aggravating to me, but easier in the long run, so I don't have to worry about buying more parts. If you have Amazon free shipping, it's 15 bucks, and I was able to have all the tools I needed to fix it and put the battery back in. Now I am on day two and I'm on my third charge of this battery. So far it's been really good. It says that it can last up to 800 times of charging. I mean, that's not bad. So basically 800 days. So I'll have to probably do this again, but by then it'll probably be time to get a new Apple Watch. I just wanted to share that with you. I was really shocked that it popped open. Kind of happy it did because it's easy to replace if that's the case. I did not have any problems with the battery dying over time. The battery seemed completely fine. It just expanded. So I went ahead and replaced it and it's sticking really good. I don't have any problems. Everything's been mint with it so far. All the touch works. Everything works as I showed you earlier and I haven't seen any difference whatsoever. I'm sorry for those who did not have their faceplate pop off. It is going to be a little bit of a challenge to try and get it off and you might scrape it. But if you're like me, you're probably already scraped it anyway that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified when i make a video and remember you could do anything if you put your mind to it later guys this is a pain in the butt guys i'm not even gonna like pretend that this is a pain in the butt all right you're still here you haven't clicked on all these videos that i made or better yet like button or even better, subscribe button. Just put, putting it out there.